Let's get over to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, as we do each and every Tuesday at 20 past the hour. And don't forget, Basil has an outstanding show here every trading day, folks, 10 to 11 Eastern Standard Time. Also has a great newsletter, that opening call. Now, it's very easy to get the opening call, folks. You come over to our website at TFNN, you go under newsletters, you're going to see it on the right-hand side, left-hand side, rather. You just hit the opening call. You can get the opening call for one month for $149. You get it for six months to six ninety five, which is a savings of one hundred ninety nine dollars at twenty two percent, and you can get it for one year for eleven ninety five, which is a savings of five hundred ninety three dollars at thirty three percent. Now they all come, folks, with a thirty day money back guarantee. Basil has about twelve beautiful workshops out there. You come in, you get it, you test it. If it works for you, awesome. If for some reason it doesn't, guess what? You get your money back. Get over there, get it. It's an amazing trading market that we have right now. Basil Chapman, what's going on? Well, as you say, it's an amazing trading. I mean, we've had some whoppers of a move on the upside <laughs> and the is, downside. <laughs> and, you know, if, if one is able to step back and look at the picture just as a trading vehicle, as you said a moment ago, um, it's much better than having this preconception that we're crashing to the downside or we're skyrocketing to new highs. Whoops, I got a call. I'll leave that alone. And um, that's saying to buy we'll, everything, Basil. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So the, what's really important? So for us, I've been talking to you uh, for about a, a week or so, and I've been showing you my program that the diamonds are ready for some kind of a move to the upside. And it's like an elastic band being stretched. But at the same time, the type of selling pressure that's been in just in vogue, I mean, since we, we still have that short position from August the 16th, uh, from yeah, the middle of August, um, as an intermediate term, one to one short the Dow on the, via the DOG. But we, we've been buying the diamonds in this area because it looks very much like there must be some kind of a release of tension. But the fighting, you can see, uh, for instance, I had what I call the Chapman Wave Trin Gauge. All I use is Richard Arms yes. uh, trading in there. I, I don't use, I don't even recall exactly how he uses it, although I know how it's made up. But I just use two numbers on the upside and on the downside. If on the upside it goes to a certain level, it means that the market, it, within two days, the E-mini S&P should have a sharp move up that will help the uh, market to rally. And if it is very low, it means that the very next day, the Dow should, uh, uh, whatever the futures are, it doesn't matter because the Dow should go negative, usually early in the morning. Well, when the futures were up screaming like this, I thought, well, at one point, the Dow was up 600. How could it possibly work? Well, we came down from over 600, from a high of 30,837. Uh, right down to 30,300. I mean, that's incredible that we're able to do that. And today, there's another flashing signal that says <clears throat> there should be some kind of a, a negative. It, does, it could even be minus one, but some kind of negativity in the Dow tomorrow. So with that said, basically, I'm making it as simple as possible. We are long via the Dow, diamonds for my subscribers to opening call. If the Dow can close above 30,454 is the number, but I'm really saying it needs to close above 30,500 in the next couple of days, we can start to form this cup formation. And in my show tomorrow, I'll show some of the techniques where I use the cup. I use the Chapman Wave inside wedge. That's the target resistance line in this daily chart. Yes, yeah, this little green line. And here's the resistance that we, we snapped out of three days ago. This is the Chapman Wave inside track repellent zone. So that's one thing. The other is what I was looking at what to buy. I thought I want something that could possibly be very separate from the market itself in its own orbit. So we over the last, I'd say, seven years, every year we've brought Bank of America towards the low of that particular phase. And as it's run up very sharply, we've taken profits. And then as it came down, we got out and then we waited and waited and we did it again. We did it a little earlier this year. It didn't quite work out. We lost a very small, I can't remember, maybe lost a half a point or we gained, but we were out of it and we waited and waited. So on Thursday, as the market was turning around, uh, intraday, I sent out an email saying to my subscribers saying, we want to buy Bank of America. Even though the earnings are coming out on Monday, it's in the sweet spot right now with, with the way yields are and the way the financials are set up, even if it's just a trade. 
So we bought in the 31s and today it hit 30, uh, 35, 36 in just uh, four sessions. So that is a, a sign to me that says selectivity is really very important right now. I don't think you can just broadly buy any particular stock. So maybe thinking of a sector or the best stocks in the, in the sector or maybe even the sector ETF like we've got the diamonds. And then if the market starts to unfold, moving to the upside, and I do think that there's, there's upside to come because we are extremely oversold. I'll, I'll show you the VIX index in a moment. But in this particular instance, we're being very selective. We added to uh, our portfolio today with a stock that's just been decimated down about almost 90% from its high in an area that if there is a bit of a recovery, even if it's weeks, this should participate So being very selective sticking more with the lower price stocks. So if you look at the volatility index, and once again, I'll say in my show, the Tiger Technicians Hour tomorrow, I'll talk about it because it'll be very important uh, at between 10 and 11 tomorrow to be following it. The volatility index has held very nicely up towards the highs. 34.88 was the high around about the 28th of September. <clears throat> it pulled back, and then it made a pattern that I talk about, which is an arch formation. But it first had to create this cup formation. Well, what happens is when something goes back to the previous high, I like to do a vertical measure. In other words, I draw it, I just got the straight line down. You can see the MACD was strong, the unbalanced volume was strong, the stochastic went over 80%, the nine period was way over the 14. Now look at all of a sudden with this, the rally that was, uh, that was on the 12th Thursday, <clears throat> it went it didn't go above the 3488 level. It was just under it. And look, the technicals are weaker here. So I'm saying keep the numbers in mind. If the volatility index starts to trade in the 29s and the 28s, that's going to be very good for the market. If the Dow can get to that, uh, as I said before, if the Dow can rally, and it's comparable to the other indices, but in this case, I'd like it to rally to the 30,500 level. I think we've got ourselves a nice trading range uh, market. And that's the way I'm looking at it. A break underneath 29,500 says, forget it. What are you thinking? But so far, it's acting very well. And as I say, these specific areas are very important that we're looking at. And you know what's cool, Basil, is that the, you know, when you talk about the Dow and the vertical, right, what's actually happening out here today, the swing point from uh, October 5th, Yes. We're taking out with volume. The swing point at 2.7 million, okay? And right now we are at 3.9. So uh -huh. that's saying that the diamonds, you know, should go to 321 and we're at 304. So yes. as you were doing it, you were talking, I was just looking at it and saying to myself, that's, that's quite a, um, that, that's blowing away a swing point, folks. That's the bottom line, so. Well, also what's important about that is the MACD has been positive the last uh, week or so. The stochastic is at eight, 55, I want, 66. I want to see it over 80%. So those are the numbers I'm looking at. And folks, don't forget, 10 o'clock tomorrow morning, you can listen to him. Come over to our website right now. Get his newsletter. You'll be growling and prowling and riding that way. All right. Basil, you have a great one, safe one. We look forward to the show tomorrow. Thank you very much. Tom. Thank you. you. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back.